Hey, it's Mr. Cornwell again, bringing you yet another Major Clarity tutorial video. This time we'll be diving deeper into the career exploration part of Major Clarity, looking at interviews, activities, and other info on that page. Let's get started. To get to the career path pages, you'll need to be logged into Major Clarity and come over to the career exploration tab if you're not already there. It seems like everybody wants to be a YouTuber these days, so instead of looking at the careers at the top of my list, Let's look at one that would be relevant if you wanted to be a YouTuber. We're going to scroll down a bit on my page, although on yours it might be near the top, to the video production career path. Now that we're on the career path page for video production, we get lots more information on this particular career. First of all, we start out with a short description. You may not have been able to see the whole thing on the previous screen because it gets clipped, but at this point we get a full description. We do get the cluster that this career belongs to, and we also get some interactive activities. The first one we get to see is an option to watch an interview. So we'll click on that first, and you see we get an interview with someone who actually is doing uh, work in this career already in this case someone with 10 years of industry experience. You can scroll down a bit and start clicking play. My name is Graham Jemby. I'm a video producer. I've been making videos since I was a kid. And we're not going to listen to your whole video here, but you can see we have the opportunity to more or less interview him or at least hear his answers to all these questions. Now this video will stop when it gets to the end of this. I don't believe it auto plays. So when you get to the end of this one minute or a minute and four seconds in this case, just know that you do have more to hear and more to see. Uh, so you can continue clicking down the list until you have check marks in all of these sections. When you finished, you can score your fit, which gives you the opportunity to tell Major Clarity, hey, is this a good career for me, or do I think this is exciting? Uh, do I think this is something I will be able to do or would like to do someday? And you have two links for it on this page. Either of them take you to the same place, but uh, we're just gonna say for me, that's a good fit. Uh, I don't know that I would want to do this forever, but it sounds cool. I'm making videos right now. They're not amazing, but they work. And I'm going to call it a day. Uh, once you've rated yourself, it brings you back to this page automatically, but you can always go back if you want to. Then we see the opportunity to try a video production activity. And every career in the program, as far as I know, has an activity that's unique to that career. It's hard to give a summary of what these are like across the board, but I will say that each one is specifically keyed to let you practice a skill that you would use on the job in that career path. So we're going to start it. I'm not going to go through the entire activity for this one, uh, but in this case it looks like you're doing some storyboard work so you're planning, almost putting together what might be a rough draft of what you want the video to look like when it's complete. Um, as I said, I'm not going to go through this, but uh, when you finish, you get to score your fit again, telling the program whether you think this is a uh, good fit for you. And each time you score your fit, this actually modifies your fit score on the front page. So if you had a 50% fit score for this career path previously, and you score your fit really high, that percentage will rise. If you score it really low, that percentage will go down. And that again rearranges all the career paths on your main career exploration page so that those that you have indicated you like or the ones you are most interested in will be at the top of the page. Again, I'm going to rate this one as good. Before we go on, I do want to point out you can star or favorite these from this page and then whatever career paths that you favorite will end up on your My Portfolio screen. So you can go there and pull them up anytime you log in. The next piece down here is occupations. If the career path is a big group of jobs, 
occupations narrows that down to specific jobs that you might be doing. And this gives us the opportunity to filter those based on education requirements. Right now, all of them are selected, except for these that are grayed out because those don't apply to this career field for whatever reason. We can select some. Say I've decided I want to get a bachelor's degree, but I don't want to go any farther than that. I can always change that goal later, but I can deselect post-secondary non-degree award, and it will eliminate a few of the occupations. That might be behind my head, but you can still you should still be able to see as I select these and deselect them, those disappear. So you can really narrow it down to I want I know I'm going to get a bachelor's degree. I want to take those away, um, and maybe I don't want to do some of the jobs that that I wouldn't need as much education for. So take those away, and then you get to narrow this down a little more uh, finely. From there you can click on any of these and get plenty more information about that specific occupation but we'll get to that in a future video